So by the title of the video, I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going on. So right now, I'm on my way to hopefully be purchasing the car tonight and we'll probably be taking it home tonight also. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated to see what happens. So I actually just purchased the car just now. Uh, well, just, not just now. Right now I'm picking up Caesar so that way we can drive my car back and the Z back to my house. And then uh, I'll give you a tour or and specs and what's been done to the car, what's wrong with the car probably tomorrow or in these upcoming days during the day so that way I can show you in daylight right now it's dark um, what what we're looking at uh, I test drove the car already it, mechanically it's fine uh, it just really it all needs exterior and interior so basically cosmetics but as far as that goes we're I'm picking up Caesar right now uh, we're gonna drive back pick up the pick up the Z and then we're gonna head back home and I'll keep you guys updated after that So excuse the lighting, uh, that works. Excuse the lighting, uh, there's not that much lighting. I put the garage down because it's a bit cold here down in Texas. Uh, this weather has been going off and on. Uh, other, than, other than that, so I bought the Z for 3,700. The guy had listed it for 4,000. Mechanically, it works fine. All it just needs is cosmetics. Uh, to finish out the video, I am going to be cleaning the inside, the interior, I'll be taking the seats out. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, I will talk about what this car needs because it needs a lot of work, obviously a front bumper and a rear bumper, which I already ordered the front bumper. Um, but other than that, I'm waiting on Jacob to get here. He's going to be staying up here for a bit, help me out. Uh, but he doesn't know that I bought the Z. I don't think nobody knows I bought the Z. After this video goes live, everybody will start knowing. But in that case, keep it a secret for now until Jacob gets here and we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to get started on taking out the seats. I know there's one, four bolts. Hopefully I think there is. Uh, there's some sort of pop-up or little pop-ins that are on top of the screws like these. I don't know you can see that. So I believe there's four of them. I'm gonna try to get them out. Not sure what the bolts felt like. I feel like probably 14. Yep, and that is a 14 actually. So there's one here, one there, one down here under the seat belt. And then one on the other side. At least that's what I think. Honestly, instead of just taking out the whole seat, I put a jack stick just to hold it up like this. So that way I don't have to unplug. So that way I don't have to unplug all the wiring for the seat belt. Cause it is tied down by zip ties. And so I don't want to deal with all that. And honestly, it's not even that dirty down here. I just wanted a good, take a good look underneath, make sure it's not that much dirty. But I'm gonna vacuum all that up. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the driver's side. So this is my first time going through this car since I bought it and it's been three days, I think. Uh, I have a first day and I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe these are for uh, the coilovers. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I've seen it before and I think they're used for coilovers. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a sensor or something. There's a plug it right there. If you guys know what this is, please comment down below. Uh, and I found this little piece in here. I already had vacuumed it all in there, uh, all in the glove box. So I'll probably keep that in there. These I'll probably ask the owner what it is. This, especially this, looks important. But yeah, had that cleaned out. Got back here, cleaned up, moved the seat up. Uh, so it's all cleaned out and everything. Uh, there's not much to it. Honestly, so it's probably gonna take like 30 minutes. Um, but besides the vacuuming, I am going to be looking at the center console, cleaning things up. There's a bunch of coins there and there, uh, cleaning the inside. There's a bunch of little stuff that's stuck on the cup holders and stuff. Um, but other than that, it's mostly vacuuming, uh, getting all the dirt out, cleaning the windows. Um, and that's it for now. 
I'll do a car wash later on, but there's aftermarket intakes that are running outside. And considering how it doesn't have a bumper, then uh, yeah, we can't have water going into the intakes. But uh, I don't have time to be taking off the, the air filters and then uh, plugging them in with some towels or whatever and washing the car. So I'll do that in a later date. But for now, I wanna focus on the interior and I'll let you know how it goes. I know this may not seem much, but since that piece, this little compartment on the side of the, the door is kind of popping off. So right now, it's kind of struggling to get those three clips inside the seat, I guess you can say, because there's an opening down in the bottom. Okay, and just like that, got them clipped back in. Uh, hopefully the other side is not like that because that was really a pain to get back in there. But I'm gonna get that clean all in there and we'll start on the other side, mimic everything we did on here and see what's under that seat. Hopefully it's not as bad as this one. Okay, so going through the driver's side, I can actually move up the seat to the point where I can fit the vacuum back there. It's actually more worse than the other side, but it's not too bad. And then first time seeing this, here's a tow hook. Let's see what else. Take out the nuts from the rims. I'm pretty sure these are for the old, for the older rims, because uh, these are Nismo with aftermarket uh, lug nuts. Um, but that was kind of loud. That case, I don't know, plastic part. Unless it goes somewhere in the car. I'm not sure where, but there we go. Wow. Welcome to the party. Thank you. What's up, girl? Hi. Bro. What is that, bro? What is that? What's in there, bro? What's in there, dog? Bro. I like the sizes. We like the hardest. Hi. Dude. Yeah, bro. Mine. Yours? Yeah. Zane. <laughs> this is beyond me. I wanted to be like you. Man, you are a piece of work. <laughs> the vlog doesn't know what needs to be done. <laughs> Neither do you, but yeah. I don't know either. But it looks looks better just sitting in here, leaving it in like this. I know, place. right? <laughs> yeah. So. We're gonna clean the windows. Yeah. I already all, got it all vacuumed out. Um, everything looks all good, nice and clean. Uh, might clean the dashboard a little bit, but uh, other than that, I mean, we're out here cold, but we're trying to get the work done. Trying to get the work done? Yeah. Trying to get the job done, that's what I'm gonna say. There you go, I don't know, whatever, Dave. Anyway. I feel like cheese, boy. Yeah, work that. Uh, this is why you hire Mexicans to do your work. Uh, same. <laughs> it's paying me and try to gum. So I think that's that goes to the key fob, which is this thing. I think I might get a replace. I need a new, I need a, needs a new battery, but and also I need a uh, center console. So if y'all guys know anybody that sells a center console for a 350Z 2008, it's really cheap. Then let me know. There's a lot of missing pieces that I need for this car. I need I need a light. So I need speaker cover here, speaker cover over there. Uh, this thing broke the door handle for that door. The interior is completely ripped off. It's basically gutted. Yeah. Weight reduction. Completely gutted. Missing a piece there. Missing all of that there. All that speaker is hanging on with a magnet. <laughs> what are those called? 
The shocks. Oh, the shocks. Window shocks. That shock doesn't work. I think that one works. Or I don't know which one doesn't work. But other than that, we have a ISR exhaust, Mismo rims, a true coilovers, no front bumper. I think AEM air intakes. Um, these are cheaply put on because considering the watches. <laughs> pops off because uh, it's missing these screws here but this one works fine it comes off easily and there you go but it doesn't have a hanger to hold the hood um, most of our cars don't we yeah. use uh, pull sticks <laughs> yeah. or regular limbs off the trees or we just use our head to hold it down Room sticks yeah, wire head and the side of the side is pretty jank too. It moves around. Not that much work. I just got an oil change. Speaking of that. Uh, I think you're somebody's calling you. You just bugging me. That's what it is. Really? Oh, as far as this back bumper is cut off also, because it's it actually a salvage title. Uh, it has one inch over fenders oh, no, on the I'll rear. Anyway, as I was saying, so this side completely fucked. Door doesn't close right because salvage title. Um, so apparently the accident happened back here, so that's why the back bumper is cut off because the accident happened from there down. So I don't know how to fix this because I know you're supposed to push in in order to open the cap. Uh, if you guys have any idea how to fix that, let me know. But all this, possibly the door. Those dents on the side, God, the lighting sucks. There's a bunch of dents on the bottom. Uh, the fender or whatever it's underneath needs to be fixed in order to for that door to close right. Um, but other than that, front bumper, fender lining, possibly a rear bumper. I don't know if I like it yet. Um, and a whole bunch of little stuff, you know. But yeah. We're gonna get her done. Yeah. Tonight. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> what do you think about the car? I love it, man. Yeah. I personally think the bumper in the back just stay off. Yeah. You can see the tires, how um, they are in the back. I think it's something that I have to get used to, cause uh, I know it's a big trend going on with 350Zs. Uh, but I mean, yeah, maybe. Drop a comment down below if you think that's good or it looks nice. I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be like, no, keep the bumper. Does it look nice or does it look right? <laughs> right? All right, well, Jacob showed up late, but I still cleaned up the car a little bit. We're gonna go get some tortas. <clears throat> uh, we'll catch you guys later. Make sure to subscribe and like and uh, comment down below. But uh, other than that, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Keep in touch. This car is going to come out mint as SF. Yeah. Take us words. No, you can't. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Peace out.